Hi, I'm Fox. I'm Couch Guy. You're watching the Two Smart Guys show, and we're excited this week. We got to almost break something. Yeah, we actually did a hack uh, on our live show that completed almost before midnight. So, <laughs> these little tablets went yeah. on sale about two months ago. Yeah, about two months ago after being out for two months. And if you had a chance to order from the HP site, you got this big waiting list. Yes. So guess what? Your shipments have been starting to come out. So guess what? Um, we don't like the operating system. Yeah, WebOS is probably, you know, dead for and all intents and purposes or on deathbed. Let's be honest, it wasn't the coolest thing to start with. So, well... I, it had we... a lot of potential. Um, <laughs> so why don't we put Android on it? Yeah. Or better yet, um, Cyanogen. Cyanogen. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to put Cyanogen mod on this tablet. And it's going to be dual boot, so, so if you Fear don't... not. Like the pre-beta, beta, beta that's out right now, you yeah. can boot back into WebOS. And if you wanted to, if you didn't like it, you want to go back to that antiquated, you know, operating system. You could do go back to mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So you don't have to commit to this as if you were like married to it. Yeah. Dual boot. Here's how it's done. First thing you need to do is download the following files. We have a link in our show notes. After they're all downloaded, go ahead and run the Novacom installer first. This is the drivers for the touchpad. Then you'll need to extract the Acme installer into the same folder that the Novacon drivers were installed in, which is C Program Files Palm Inc. On your touchpad, you're going to enable developer mode. This is real simple. Just go to the main navigation bar, the white one, and type in Web OS 2009-0606. An icon will pop up that says developer mode. Go ahead and touch that, and then you can slide on to enable developer mode. Simply plug in the USB cable into your PC and press USB drive. Now your touchpad will show up as a mass storage device. In the root directory make a CM install folder and then we're going to copy over the rest of the files for CyanogenMod, Moboot, and Clockwork. Then simply reboot holding the up volume button and it'll reboot into booty mode. You should get a big USB icon on the screen. And then on the PC side of things, launch the command prompt, navigate to the C program files Palm Inc. folder, and then run this command on the screen right here, the Novacon boot mem Acme installer. Now this takes a very long time. So long that we fell asleep. <laughs> Very long time. Man, what do you have? Hey! <laughs> Something happened. So after you get done jumping up and jump down for joy, when you see all the text scroll across the screen, you'll see that there's a dual core machine in there because you got the two Tux penguins, and you'll get to Mobu. This is where you can select Cyanogen or WebOS. By default, it goes into Cyanogen, and it boots up that way. Once you're in Cyanogen, you can reboot back into WebOS. Uh, everything's there. You can connect to your Wi-Fi, start browsing the web. Sound works. 1080p video works. The camera works. Yay, it actually works! <laughs> we have Cyanogen Mod 7. Um, and it's, you know... With the exception of the Android market, which I think is essential to be considered a functional tablet, which we'll do next week. Next week we'll show um, you how to get Android market on there, maps. Absolutely. There's the all kinds of things. It doesn't mean you can't do it. Uh, it just it doesn't come with it inside of it. You have to load that separately. Right, because it's not licensed for it. It's not built into the uh, operating system. Yeah. But everything else inside of here works. We've, we've locked on the internet. We've done, you know... We get the file manager. We're you know we're into the system with the full Cyan Engine mod. Sans a, this, apps. Yeah, this is one of the first releases, so there are some bugs. A lot of programs crash. And that doesn't mean you can't get apps. There are apps that are out there that are not that you can download outside the App Store. Right. So it's not like you're restricted. Yeah, because on, on uh, Android you can just go to a website and download an app. Can and you? some yeah, okay. absolutely. You don't have to go to the web store. And you know what we should look at Android. We should look at the uh, you know we'll do this part of next week. The uh, Amazon Marketplace. They've got some nice, uh, they work nice too. Oh, so cool. we'll see. Make sure the app's uh, interaction work next week with this. But HP Touchpad just became functional. Yes, so uh, all those people that finally gave up on them, 
grab one quick before they, re they realize it's probably the most powerful Android tablet on the market right now. Yeah. This is a, you can have this thing clocked at dual 1.7 gigahertz. Yeah, <laughs> All right, see you guys. This has been the Two Smart Guys production.